Mr. Minister, Mr. Governor of South Sinai, Executive President of NTRA, Secretary General, Mr. Chairman, Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, dear colleagues and friends. It is my pleasure to address you at the end of this World Radio Communication Conference 2019. This was a memorable conference. It was the largest conference ever with over 3,400 participants. It was held outside Geneva which represents a major endeavor for the ITU. It allowed us to learn a bit more about the Egyptian culture and experience their warm hospitality. Moreover, this conference will change the lives of billions of people around the world by promoting economic growth and development globally. It will make the digital society more accessible and affordable to all. It will make this world a safer place and allow people and industries that serve them to utilize the advances of radio communication technology. This conference will also have an economic impact in a sector worth trillions of dollars. I assure you that our long hours of discussion and negotiations were not in vain. We enabled the introduction of new, introduction of new technologies while protecting existing services. We found agreement on some very difficult issues. And most importantly, we maintain the culture of our union that allows us to take into account our differing national perspectives and still make treaty decisions and accept international obligations by consensus but for the benefit of the global community. History will record that the World Radio Communication Conference 2019 made vital decisions and that was a huge success. It proved to all of us that nothing is impossible in the land of the pharaohs. I mentioned to you, mainly when discussion got difficult, that we should keep in mind that the world was watching us. Indeed, the world has been awaiting for the outcomes of this event, and today I'm happy to report back some of the key achievements of this conference. WRC 19 opened up new orbital slots for broadcasting satellites and provided developing countries with the opportunity to regain access to spectrum orbit resources thanks to a priority mechanism especially set for them. WRC 19 defined a stable regulatory framework for non-GSO satellite systems based on a milestone process enable, enabling mega constellations to rapidly come to fruition. Such a balance will ensure that more affordable means of connectivity will now be offered to the citizens of all countries. The need for connectivity everywhere at all times has also led to the decision made on earth stations in motion of tremendous importance to connect people with planes, in ships, and in trains. WRC 19 expanded the capacity and ensured the provision of a truly global maritime distress and safety system. The conference identified globally harmonized millimeter wave bands for IMT for the future development of 5G while taking measures to protect vital resources used for scientific services, such as Earth exploration satellite services, particularly passive bands used for meteorological measurements that enable weather forecastings and prediction. IMT 2020, commonly referred to as 5G, will unlock applications and enable high-speed connection of people and things to the internet, responding to the ever-increasing demand for mobile broadband in our digital economies. 
The conference has also considered the expansion of provision of broadband access to rural and remote areas by identifying frequency bands for high altitude platform systems. WRC 19 approved a recommendation on intelligent transport systems towards connecting vehicles, improving traffic management, and assisting safe driving. WRC 19 took measures to ensure the continuous assistance and support for the timely implementation of new technologies, including 4G and 5G networks and services in Palestine. The conference declared as well the commitment of the sector to gender equality and gender balance. Member states and sector members declared that they will urgently undertake activity and active measures towards increasing the percentage of women engineers in the radio sector. While I could mention several other achievements, allow me just to congratulate you on your great success. The decisions you made will be captured in WRC 19 final acts, followed by the updated ITU radio regulations that will be published in the course of 2020. I assure you that the Radio Communication Bureau will continue to provide assistance to all administrations in implementing these revised provisions. Looking into the next cycle, 2020-2023, we note the extensive number of proposals included in the agenda of the next WRC. This new agenda will keep the ITU and the radio regulations up to date with the latest technological advancement in the fields of ICTs. I'm looking forward to the next study cycle. It seems really very promising. Finally, I could not end my speech without saying thanks to the many people involved in making this conference a success. I thank <coughs> the conference vice chairs, the committee chairs and vice chairs, the working groups, sub-working groups, and ad hoc groups chairs, the RRB members, and the heads of the regional groups for the key role they played in this conference. I thank my deputy director and all the ITU staff those here as well as those in Geneva, from all the three sectors and the General Secretariat of the ITU for their dedication and hard work to ensure the conference ran smoothly. I thank the Egyptian administration for putting in place a conducive environment and ensuring our safety throughout this event. I thank the local staff that worked so hard in the background. And although it's always delicate to single out individuals, there are four people from the host country that I need to explicitly acknowledge. Dr. El Sayed Azuz, who was from the very beginning leading the process of preparation of the conference and worked tirelessly to ensure everything was in place according to ITU requirements. Mr. Ahmed Raji, our focal point for the Egyptian side, who put up with all the requests of VR and the delegations. And he always did that with a big smile. Hoda El Dib, who prepared all the adornment of this venue and made sure we worked in a pleasant setting and felt always at home. And of course, our chairman, Mr. Amber Badawi, who accepted to take on this responsibility instead of continuing enjoying his retirement. I'm not sure he was fully aware of what he was putting himself into, but nevertheless, he has blessed us with his calm and efficient leadership when guiding the proceedings of this conference. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Finally, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for investing yourselves and providing your support to help bring the 2019 World Radio Communication Conference to a successful conclusion. We leave Egypt with a feeling of mission accomplished, but before leaving, some of you suggested that we change the PDF mask for a snorkeling mask and explore the beauties of the sea in Sharm Sheikh. 
My only advice to you is do not cause any harmful interference to the marine life. It is supposed to be one of the most beautiful ones in the world. I wish you a safe trip back home. Thank you.